The Victorian government has stepped in to save the overland train, committing to fully fund the link between Melbourne and Adelaide for at least another 12 months. Services were due to start, stop at the end of the year after South Australia withdrew its subsidy. More from Andrew Lund. Since 1887, passenger trains have been making the 830 kilometre journey between Melbourne and Adelaide. But there were fears the overland was headed for the end of the line after the South Australian government withdrew a $300,000 annual subsidy. Oh, I was devastated when they said they were going to close it. I thought, what are, you know, we're all elderly and pensioners. Um, it's a great way to travel. Today, though, a lifeline. We will put up the money that is required to keep the service running. Victoria has agreed to fund the twice-weekly cross-border train through until the end of 2019, taking a swipe at South Australia on the way through. Absolute disgrace that the Liberal government in South Australia wouldn't come to the party. Look, I think the best thing that people can do uh, if they want to support the overland trip staying in place is get on the overland, use the service, then it wouldn't be needing such large state taxpayer funds to support the trip. The overland currently carries around 17,000 passengers. Next year it will cost Victorian taxpayers $3.78 million. I only came over yesterday, this is on my bucket list, to come over and then go back again. The rise of low-cost air travel has affected demand for interstate trains and authorities will now look to explore long-term options to make the service sustainable. Operator Great Southern Rail says it will absorb an extra $130,000 in costs with bookings for 2019 to open tomorrow. Andrew Lund, Nine News.